Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Bauer, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about mold toxicity and different types of mold in your home. So what is mold? Well, mold most times is a microscopic organism that is found in some capacity in most homes. And the World Health Organization has estimated that at least 50% of buildings in North America have some type of water damage. And of course, we know that water damage is creating that breeding ground for mold and it really is important to know that for your overall health that it is something that we definitely have to pay attention to because mold not only produces allergens but also irritants and something called mycotoxins which can have a very negative impact on your health. So now I'll discuss the different types of mold that can be found in your home. So one of them is called cladosporium and it can be either gray or brownish or even black and it may have a bit of a powdery appearance to it and this is commonly found in food products especially if they've been left out or sitting for too long dead plants as well can have this common type of mold as well as wood and also insulation so this can even be hidden inside your walls and this commonly will grow in a dark damp environment so like a basement is a common area where you would find the cladosporium mold. Another type of mold is called black mold and this is Stachybotrys atra and this is commonly a black in color. It could be dark green as well and it has a bit of a slimier type of texture and this can commonly be found in walls as well as ceilings and floorboards as well and it commonly grows in any type of moist area and unfortunately for the health effects of Stachybotrys it has been linked to cancer. So so definitely something that you want to look into if you do have black mold in your home or in your work environment. Another type of common mold found in the home is called penicillium and this is green, it could be white or even blue and it has a fuzzy appearance. Also found in food but also in walls and in the insulation. This commonly grows in a moist environment and also is found in organic matter as well. Another type of mold found in the home is called aspergillus and this can be gray, it can also be brown, it can have a bit of a yellow appearance, also be green, white or even black as well and this one grows very quickly and can be found in moist environments especially where there's a lot of humidity like in a leaky basement for instance and can also be found in the walls, also in the insulation, commonly found in soil and even in clothing. So if clothing, sometimes when you purchase clothing and it has a bit of that musty type of smell, this could be one of those common types of mold that can be found in the clothing. This also is linked to cancer because it does produce a carcinogen called aflatoxin which can be very damaging to your health. Another type of mold is called alternaria and this is again either a dark green color, it could be gray in color or black as well and this one looks a little bit different. It may have long sort of velvety hairs but it doesn't need as much water to grow so sometimes you know as compared to other molds that need a lot of moisture and that dampness to grow this one doesn't need quite as much of that dampness. This is commonly found in carpets but also in clothing and clothing fibers and is commonly found around windows so especially if a window is not well sealed or doors as well you want to look out for this type of mold the alternaria so I hope that you learned something new if you do have questions or comments about this video please leave it in the comment section below also be sure to share this video with someone that you know needs to know about their health and possibly that exposure to mold in their environment I appreciate a big thumbs up as well and if if you're new to my channel, welcome. I hope that you'll subscribe. Also click that bell to turn on your notifications so you always get my newest and latest uploads which happens every single day of the week. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching today.